Back in week four, the Broncos dominated their first matchup against the Chargers. Can Los Angeles even the score? The answer comes your way next. This take it in at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a pretty slick return there. Almost got Congrats. it to the 45. Congrats. Officially, Congrats. they'll call him down at the 44. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And he ought to have a lot of pep in his step after last week's performance because he did exactly as you want him to play if you're a coach. Three touchdown passes, zero interceptions, which usually means you're making a lot of right decisions out there. And got him the win. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. The numbers for him from a week ago, 17 carries, 90 yards, and a touchdown. Has nine rushing touchdowns on the season, so a lot of credit has to go to the rest of the offense because you know those big guys up front are doing work. But now the goal is to get to 10. And don't for a second think that the defense doesn't know that. They'd like to do their best to keep him out of the end zone in this one. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we... And this is caught! And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play there for L.A. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And we knew that they'd try to attack the secondary, but I'm not sure that we thought they'd do it right on the first drive of the game. But here they saw an opportunity, seized it, and it's a big play right off the bat. Yeah, and you see the final number there on how far that ball traveled. Pretty impressive. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. The thing that they'll be looking at is a spot of the football, and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game. Come on, fellas. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out. Be Got a man, it's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chargers have taken a first quarter lead. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. And when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive, because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And oh, deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And picked up by the Chargers. And this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Anthony Ferkser, his first touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown against them. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. 
They'll be led out by the man who proclaims to be from a whole pack of Badgers, came into the league back in 2012, Russell Wilson. After what we saw last week, over 400 yards passing, I, the obvious thing is to go talk to him. I want to talk to his receivers, and boy, were they enthusiastic about what happened then. And they can't wait for this week's game. He was hitting them outside, over the middle, everywhere. And for his efforts, of course, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Wilson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs. But in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And that will be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. Two yard punt, six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They've got things going their way early. 14 0 lead and the football, first and 10. They'll run here with Eckler, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. This defense for the Broncos, they were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He's obviously a bit of a shorter running back. Sometimes when he goes up the middle like that, he gets lost in there, and then he pops out for 10, 20 yards. I actually asked NFL linebackers if that was true. Do you actually lose sight of some of the smaller running backs? And all of them confirmed that that can be a problem. Think of it this way. Two of the top running backs in NFL history, Emmitt Smith, Barry Sanders, both 5'10". On second down, Eckler. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Open that is Palmer. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone, eluding the pressure right. Touchdown! Josh Palmer, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Well, I don't think that we're ready yet to say the route is on, but they have certainly looked near flawless here in this first half. And now an extra point away from making it 21-0. Yeah, and your experience led you to say that because we have both seen those 21-0 leads come and go in this league. But this one feels pretty darn secure. And here's the other part. Even when people chip away at it, it forces you into being almost perfect on the other side, doesn't it, in order to try to mount a comeback. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Fielded just outside the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. 
So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. They are back over the 500 mark for the season. Got there with a win a week ago. Their second straight victory. Well, they've definitely gotten better as this season has gone along. And from what I can tell, they know their roles. Everyone understands how they fit offensively, defensively. And this team now has an identity, and they're playing to it and playing well. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. He takes this one across the 35 to the 36, a gain of about four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. On second down, Williams. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as good running gets him to about the 44. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. On first down, Wilson. He completes this to Sutton. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. Oh, he tries to force it in. Now the ball comes loose, and I think they are going to get this one back. Boy, that would have been something, double turnovers, but instead they'll keep the possession on the INT. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. After the turnover, here's Herbert sliding out of the pocket. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first and 10, Herbert, he'll buy some time right, letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands, but could not hang on. Second and 10, here's Herbert once more. Slant route gonna be caught by Palmer. And this is gonna be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 14. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Whipping one into Allen. That's complete. And the Chargers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. 
Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. They don't want it. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. They snap it to Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Donald Parham, his first touchdown on the year. And the Chargers are able to add on to their first half lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. So they elect to pass there on the two-point try. Sometimes could prove risky there. It worked out. Yeah, and I love how you bring up that it can prove risky because if you get an intercept and they return it, that's two points for the defense, but not on that play. This will be fielded inside the five. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And we'll see what they want to do. Just 20 seconds remaining here before the half. And an anxious moment or two there, but they do get him down. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Wilson. And he's going to drop this off to Williams, complete. Now a signal and a timeout call as it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. There's Wilson to throw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Well, they'll use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. Final play of the half. It's Wilson. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. And that is incomplete. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Things starting to get interesting in this final weekend before Thanksgiving. So let's see what's going on around the NFL. We'll begin up at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis, where you see the final score there. Aaron Rodgers, strong as usual in the victory as his guys Run their record now to seven and three. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Sam Darnold, terrific in the win, as his guys upped their mark to seven and four with the victory. Lastly, we head to the Gulf Coast and check on the Bucks at home in Tampa. And they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. Chris Godwin. Two touchdown catches in the victory. Moving on, let's take a look at the next-gen stats for the Broncos in that first half. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play. Final adjustments being made for the second half. Whether they'll amount to much in a game that's already pretty well decided, well, that's another question. Nevertheless, let's get you back out to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, thanks. Yeah, that's something to consider. Are we in for more one-way traffic here in the second half? It has not been a competitive game to this point. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? And shedding the tackle and now some room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
It's a big play there for the Broncos. And CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Wilson. Into the hands of Patrick left side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. That's going to set them back five yards. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. 30 power. Play action. Now Wilson. They're looking for Judy, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. So here are the Chargers to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert. And his throw is incomplete. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Now it's Herbert escaping the pressure right. And it's going to be incomplete. He was able to catch it there on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. And it's going to bring up fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Out to his left. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out, and the Broncos are going to get the football back in great field position. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Throwing is Wilson. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number 4 in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. Doesn't matter where he lines up, where he releases from. Working his way into the secondary figures out defenses and finds weak spots in order to get open. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. It's Wilson on the option. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. He lost four there, and it's third down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. On third and goal, Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it. 
and then they could make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job here of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his... And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Javante Williams, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Broncos use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Well, this defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. Matt Amendola now for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down to 22. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was capped off by a Javante Williams touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> a fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. A big play there for L.A. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 60 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Chargers are about to make it four straight as they add to this fourth quarter advantage. Cybert on for the PAT. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Denver's offense ready to go again. Their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull the rabbit out of their hat. Now Wilson on first down. Out quickly to Judy. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. That time, he was looking for Jerry Judy. That'll bring up second down.
Here's Wilson. On the slant, completes to Sutton. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 23. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He'll get that complete to Albert O. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And his defense here gonna burn their second timeout. But you can also factor in another timeout that they'll get when the clock stops at the two minute warning. Working with second and five now. Now it's Wilson. That's complete, Okue Bunan. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Now Wilson. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. He'll drop this down to Williams. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field. And that is caught. Well, they're going to see this one at the end. They get a score, but pretty much an exercise in futility right now. Still down big. Extra point splits the uprights, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. That time, a nine-play drive. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt let's like they back. needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one, hence the decline. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers add on to their fourth quarter lead, and they are on their way to improving to 8-2. and two. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is... We're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. Extra point by Seibert, up and good. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. 
We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. To throw again on second down. Wilson got a man open. It's Sutton. And taking it across midfield and Let's inside the 45. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Throwing again here, Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty is a result of that hit there. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team, but I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but this one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, th I agree with you totally on that one. The extra point up and good, and that'll cut the lead down now to 22. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Hey, check by 47. Check by 47. I'm, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So, for the Chargers, they continue to put themselves in position for a first-round bye as they move to 8-2.